Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. We're playing level 329. As always, we start with our mission. We need to clear all the jelly and reach 100,000 points to get one star. This is pretty high up on the meterboard, but I still don't think points are going to be the issue. What the issue is, is we've got ticking time bombs on here. We have to get rid of as quickly as we can. I'm going to do that right now, and it's also then going to bring this down and make a special, so that'll be kind of fun. Whee! Okay, so that's out of the way until a new one drops down. Hopefully by the time a new one drops down, we'll have enough of this cleared out. It's no longer an issue. Uh, they're, they're not as scary once we have an open board. We also have these rainbow candies that can be used for good or for evil. You'll notice right now this one's blue. The next turn it's going to be something else. The turn after that it'll be back to blue. It toggles back and forth between two different colors. So once we start on one side getting the licorice removed, we want to keep on that side if we can. I'm going to shoot this right here, and I'm seeing that instead of like getting this red right now, I'm seeing that maybe I might be able to make a color bomb. I'm going to go for it and see if it works. Oh yes, look at that. I was trying to look ahead. Oh, I kind of lost my reds, but then they reformed themselves and we're good. Now, combining a color bomb with any color is going to be um, good. Combining it with a wrapped candy is going to take out two different colors. I'm going to chance that this might go away because I see an opportunity to take out a, a licorice on this side. I want to go for it. Phew! That's still intact. So I'm going to do this. I would rather pair it up with the striped. I don't see the opportunity happening soon. So I'm going to take out all the orange, one of which was a ticking time bomb. And then I'm going to take out another color. It just automatically happens. Another color is removed. And what that does is it spontaneously creates specials or it gives you the opportunity to, to create more specials and more matches because we've got a lot of colors on this board and it concentrates the colors that are there. If we've got one color that's removed then the colors that remain are more concentrated so I can make matches more easily. If I've got two colors removed even better. Okay not the best special to make but I'm not going to shy away from making specials. Try to match up these blues. There we go. This side is now completely open. See how easy it is now to get rid of our ticking time bombs? Oh, I want to pair these together. Look at that. It's going to cut out a swath of 3x3. Three three. That's why we make those specials. Uh, we still want to get rid of... Now I have an opportunity here to either get rid of this licorice or make a special, which can get rid of another licorice. But this licorice is high up and it's blocking everything. I'm going to forego the special opportunity and do this. Here I can make a wrapped candy or a striped candy. This one's a little more difficult for me to decide. I'm going to go with a wrapped candy because it's close enough to the action to do some things. And I also see I can make a striped candy down here. And if I can pair these up, you've seen it has a wonderful explosive effect. Doesn't look like it's going to be happening. I'm going to move the greens into position. Oh, actually I'm going to take this out while it's a blue. See, it just keeps toggling back and forth. This is going to take out that licorice. Oh, now I get a chance to take out a ticking time bomb, make a special, and take out a licorice all in one shot. I'm going to get these reds together. Licorice is now gone off the board. That was our goal. We weren't even working on the jelly. Now we can play cleanup and take care of all of the jelly that remains on the board. Sometimes I'll take out jelly just because there's no better move if I can't take out a licorice. But I usually just wait and play cleanup at the end. I can take out these yellow because it's going to set up the green. So here I'm like kind of looking ahead. I've got this nine. It's not too troublesome because I've got a lot of matches I can make and because the board is so open but I'm not going to ignore it. I need to pay attention to it somewhat. Alright, let's go ahead and take that out now, and now I shouldn't have to worry about it anymore. Because they said at 10, I've only got 10 moves, I can totally ignore that one. I'm going to be done before it has a chance to ignite. Okay, let's see if we can get some purples and oranges down here. Well, of course not. We'll keep trying. Ooh, I see an opportunity to possibly get a color bomb. That would be helpful at this stage. So, 
What can I do to make that? Oh, another opportunity to possibly get a color bomb. <laughs> the potential is there on all of these. Actually doing it is a little more difficult. I'm going to start moving this around. Oh, I lost the opportunities, but I made a lot of stuff happen around here, and I need to focus on this area and this little guy right here. So let's see what we can do here. Try to get all the reds together. The reds got a little two together. <laughs> oh, yeah, that happens. Okay, let's see. Now we can get the reds together. That one's done. Now let's come over here and try to get these greens together. Yeah, green's got a little two together. Now they're gone. Let's see. Here we go. So this is how we beat this level. If you're still struggling, put something in the comment section. I'll try to help you. Obviously, points were not an issue.